Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show where we show you one cool thing which we are testing out here in the PC Mag Labs. I am Sasha Sieg and this is Matt Fuzzy. Uh, hello everyone. Today if you are watching us live on Facebook then please uh, comment, ask questions. Uh, Social Pete is here to read out your comments and questions. We will have a discussion and it shall be open and fulsome. Um, if uh, you are watching us later on YouTube, then please like and subscribe. Consider coming over to Facebook at 10 a.m. Eastern on weekdays to participate in the live discussion. We have a new one cool thing every day. It is a different thing every day. It is from a different category of products nearly every day. And today, it is a thing that I think a lot of Americans want. A lot of Americans want a $500 laptop like this Acer Spin 3, don't Not they? everything has to cost an arm and a leg, Sasha. Not everything needs to be a $7,000 liquid cooled blue glowing uh, desktop machine, right? Correct. Yes. Though it would be nice if everything was. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, this is the Acer Spin 3. As Sasha said, it's a $499 laptop. Um, that Do we is, need to spin uh, it three times? We can spin it three Here. times. One, two, three. Perfect. It summons more RAM if you spin it three times. Um, yeah, so this is $499. Um, one caveat there is we do recommend spending the extra hundred dollars to like bump up the storage and uh, and RAM. Okay, okay, so, so okay, so that, yeah. That, that it becomes the most appealing when you do that. But if you really want to stick to that 499 price point, you get this, which is a Core i3 processor, okay, uh, four gigabytes of RAM, okay, and it's got a terabyte drive, but it's a it's a 5,400 uh, RPM. Drive, like a, hey spinning, man, a spinning plate. I had four. I had 5400 yes. RPM spinning hard drives for like most of my natural life. And yes. Look at me. I'm only somewhat decrepit. And right. Slow. And he he only wasted so many man hours. Yeah. Um, no, but yeah. So that's good. That's a lot of storage. But um, Eric, who reviewed this, recommended bumping up because it, it impacts the performance. It's a mm -hmm. little slow. Um, the 256 gigabyte SSD for $100 more and 8 gigabytes of RAM. Okay. So you get you kind of get your money's worth more out of it that way. But if you are going to stick with the 499 price point, you don't think that performance stuff will bother you. I3, four gigs of RAM, and uh, and um, the roomy one terabyte drive at okay. the very least. Okay. Uh, 14 inch 1080p screen. Yes, it's very nice. It's a yeah. four, uh, it's a touch screen because it does this does this. So. Oh. Yeah. Right. So that's that's the spin that's branding, the spin. right? Yeah. yeah. That, that would be the spinning portion of the event. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a nice 1080p screen. Um, you know, the fact that you can get a nice 1080p screen for so. Let me say little. But, yeah, you know, five hundred dollars not a little that, but for a computer it is. No, um, I think five hundred dollars for like what I see this laptop for is uh, the 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 vast number of families mm -hmm. that are out there that are getting a laptop for a kid who needs to do their homework on yep. it, and they don't want it to be you know, grotesquely slow and grainy and ugly with like yeah. a 1366 by 768 display or but whatever. But you don't need, yeah, you don't want to buy them a $1,200, you know, laptop. Yeah, um, yeah. It's got, it, it's made of plastic, but it's a kind of like a brushed thing they're going for, you know, mm -hmm. a more premium look um, out of a something. Brushed pletal. <laughs> brushed pletal yeah. out of something that's less expensive, yep. Um, the touchpad, uh, Eric had some complaints about it. He didn't love it. Um, it seems okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, again, it's a budget thing. There's going to be some The keyboard's not bad. The keyboard's fine. Uh, there's not like a ton of travel on these keys. It's but better than the MacBook keyboard. Okay. That costs three times as much. That is extremely true. Yes. Um, yeah. That, <laughs> oh, yep. Um, let's not get started. Let's not, not get started. We're waiting. There. Um, okay. Um, on the sides, let's see here. We have an HDMI out. We have uh, two USB A's yep. on this side. On the other side, another spin. That's a fourth spin. You got to be careful. Whoa! We got, with it, so many. It spins turns into today. a pumpkin if you spin it again. <laughs> We've got another USB A uh, headphone, uh, SD card slot, and uh, so okay. Kensington lock ports. Don't you want to lock up your laptop and keep it safe? I'm just like amazed <laughs> that this like weird formerly proprietary mm -hmm. port from like the 1970s. It is still kicking. It's still kicking. And and the reason for the Kensington lock port on a laptop like this, by the way, is schools. Correct. It's that schools uh, want to chain down lines of laptops, and then they're going to chain down lines of children. Right. And then they're going to have the children lifting their weak little arms with the heavy metal chains attached mm -hmm. to them, you know, doing their math exercises on the chained down laptops like the prisoners they are. Right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. That's exactly, that's, that's, and now you know the history, an oral history of the Kensington lock slot. Yes. Um, yes, but that same slot does appear on like high end laptops that you just don't want to get yeah. stolen. And so, yeah. Um, I will say for all the for all the relative cheapness uh, mm -hmm. involved in this, um, it has an 11-hour battery. 
That's nice. That's pretty good. Yeah, so yeah. So if it's chained down off the charger, uh, it'll last you a long time. Especially considering that most people are going to be using this like on the kitchen table mm -hmm. or in a school or somewhere mm -hmm. somewhere that there is a charger. That long battery life, it's, it's interesting. I, I'm not sure how often it'll be used. Run down all the way. Yeah, I yeah. I can see a kid like curl up on the couch with it and just Fair not enough. wanting it to die on them. Fair enough. Let's take questions. Is Core i3 powerful enough? It is powerful For what? enough. For what? It's good. Yeah, it's... it's um. In former generations, you would probably see more of a drop than you would yeah. now. The performance out of pretty much anything of the current or last generation, they're really zippy, they're speedy. It is, yes, it's an i3. It's not. It's not going to stack up. That will become more noticeable the more strenuous things you do. Mm -hmm. So, like, for word processing and for some web browsing, eventually there will be some slowdown as you open up a million tabs or you're streaming video and doing yeah. this or that. Yes, there will be slowdown compared to an i5. Um, no, it's not the zippiest thing around, but it is, it's, it's competent, I think. But like, if you're doing like light image editing to create your eighth grade PowerPoints. Right, yeah, yeah you're fine. You're well, let's, notice. let's go to the benchmarks. Yeah, let's, let's take a trip down benchmark lane. Yeah, it's always, always a pleasant place to live. Okay, so we are looking at, we are looking at first our basic performance benchmarks. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are looking at uh, the the we're looking at the fact that the wrong uh, laptop is highlighted on this chart, which is probably something that we should talk to production about. Um, but yeah, here's here's the spin three. Wait, what do you mean? The spin. Oh, well, that's an editor's choice. It's oh, red. is that it's why it's, red? it's an editor's choice? Oh, okay, okay. Right. The spin one, as you see, the spin three falls into their. Um, there, there's a spin one, three, five, and seven. I believe. Okay. So okay. this is like the the second most cheap one. Yeah. Um, so there is more money to be saved if you want to bump down to the editor's choice, spin one. But that said, mm -hmm. the spin one is essentially non-functional for any image or video, video it task. It is a lot slower. Yeah. 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 Uh, we have a question. Why does Acer still use track pads when track point is much better? Um, the TrackPoint is a Lenovo is a Lenovo proprietary technology, as far as I know. Oh, yeah. And also, I prefer. Yeah. I prefer. A but is is the TrackPoint a Lenovo proprietary technology? As far as I know. I believe it is. Yeah. I I've yeah. not seen it. Maybe a sort of. No, I'm trying to even think of like a imitators. Any non-Lenovo so. laptop? I don't think so. I think I bet it's patented. Probably, I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah. You have to get something pretty dissimilar to not get sued, I imagine. As a gr as as a great as a great uh, uh, film once said, everybody's got their one special thing. It's true. And for Lenovo, it's a track point. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, so on we on these benchmarks we have basically. Not the speediest times but on it these multimedia things. tests, but it does things. And that, that PC Mark score, um, to answer your question about the, the i3 and sort of general performance, the, that's a decent PC Mark score like that, yeah. that, you know. But yeah, you can, as you get into the handbrake, the video encoding, the Cinebench, the Photoshop, filter tests, um, there's some slowdown. So the more specialized media stuff, if you're gonna get this laptop for that, no, the i3 is not exactly. Yeah. Now well let's equipped. let's make it clear that you should not be trying to render 3D images oh, no, on, this, don't do that. on this laptop. Um, the, uh, yeah, looking at gaming benchmarks, you know, you get, you're getting, uh, For something that's cheap. Yeah, yeah, you are getting definitely sub 30 frame rates. You do not want to. You see there the, the Zenbook 14, I'm not sure what the price point on that is, but it does have the MX150 NVIDIA card in it, mm -hmm. so it makes a modicum of difference where you can get kind of some performance. It makes a significant difference. Yeah. yeah. It makes because I feel that like at the at the bargain basement of the gaming lifestyle, mm -hmm. uh, your question your question is really, can I get 30? Right. If I can get 30, then I can at least barely live my life. Sure. And just enough. Right, right. And the and the flip 14 can get 30 and this one cannot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any more questions out there? So what would you say is the most unique reason to get this? Um, most unique reason to get this. I mean, the price point in and of itself, um, 4 dollars yeah. with what I would call a adequate to competent set of features. Mm -hmm. um, like I said in the beginning, adding 100, just $100 to that, I'd say just 100 maybe that's the max of your budget, maybe you just don't want to spend the extra 100 that kind of does sort of make a big difference in the uh, performance capability of this. It keeps the i3, but you get eight gigs of RAM instead and you get a much faster uh, drive. That right. said, if you're gonna put a ton of stuff on this, maybe 256 
gigabyte SSD is not enough storage for you. Um, but I think the main selling point is, oh, it has a nice HD touch screen. And it is nice. Like, I don't know how much that shows up on the camera. It's a nice, it's a nice screen. Listen, um, I get a lot of readers coming to me, you know, even like on the street, saying, I want to buy a laptop, but I only have $500. There's a lot of people out there in this world, in this country, that have $500. And so, so we get to the question, if you have $500, now I know that the Spin 1 is our editor's choice, right. but uh, is this, like, why is the Spin 1 our editor's choice over this? Well, it's sort of, if you're shopping budget, if you're shopping real budget, uh -huh. um, Yes, there are even more concessions in that, but it's even cheaper. I forget the exact price point on that is. I think it's like two. I think it's additional two hundred dollars less. Yeah, um, that's like that's Chromebook like, prices. That's like a free laptop almost. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so the performance is obviously different, but um, if you're looking for something in the middle, this is kind of this is kind of one of the ways to go. Yeah. Like I said, maybe maybe you spend an extra hundred and bump up, but then you get out of the super cheap range. You enter six hundred dollars. That's a little less super cheap. Yeah. Once you're in like the six hundred to a thousand dollar range, you start getting like you. you There's you more options also. Get, mm -hmm. It's a different set of options. You can get yeah. something that you could potentially play a game on if you feel like. Yeah, it. it's a slippery slope of like, well, if I spend an extra hundred, then it's a six hundred dollar machine, and then I can, and then you start looking at, well, this one's only eight hundred, and then all of a sudden you spent four thousand dollars on a laptop. But for your basic schoolwork laptop, your basic Microsoft mm -hmm. Office laptop, your basic web browsing, um, watching, I mean, watching Netflix or Hulu yep. is definitely something you can do on here. Playing music, it has this nice speaker, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's got a headphone jack. Yep. Uh, your, 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 those basic laptop usages, if you have 500 bucks, this looks like a great buy to me. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a very complaint-free machine other than the storage might not be as fast as you want, which affects the boot time, et cetera. Right. And Eric did say there's no USB-C port on this as another con. At $500, um, but I wouldn't, yeah, I'm I wouldn't amazed it has a port at all. Right, I wouldn't really expect that necessarily. Yeah, so. yeah, USB-A, you know, US, USB-A is fine in this price range. You probably have some older peripherals that you're using because you're saving money. Yep. You know, attach an old mouse. Yep. It'll be lovely. Um, okay, great. So this is the Acer Spin 3, and it is a very nice, $483 laptop or about 600 if you want to add an SSD and speed it up. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a full review up on PCMag.com. Uh, it is not our editor's choice because of a quirk involving the how big the budget laptop category is sure. and how incredibly cheap the Acer Spin 1 is. Yeah, if you're going to go for real like value, real bang for your buck, a real cheap laptop. Um, that this one's is really a, cheap. This is a pretty good cheap laptop, and you yeah. can make it better by making it a little less cheap. So right. it depends on your budget, depends on your needs. As always with laptops, it's all, it's all about context. Okay, terrific. Well, thank you for watching. This has been One Cool Thing with PCMag.com. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with another cool thing. Uh, see you then.